Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Today I'm discussing stem cell therapy for cerebral palsy in the Philippines. We have a gorgeous treatment center right in Alabang, Metro Manila, where we do these treatments really for the whole region. We get patients coming in from Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, Vietnam, Korea, um, as well as Japan. Um, now, why? Treatment outcomes for stem cell therapy have been fantastic for over 50 conditions, but we're talking about cerebral palsy. So let's delve in, shall we? Um, cerebral palsy affects about three in a thousand children, um, and unfortunately can lead to a life of severe disability. One of the problems, well the main problem, is that we just don't have good treatments up until now, right? I mean, it's usually physical therapy, maybe some occupational therapy, uh, supplements, you know, things like that, but nothing that's actually been disease modifying, which is what you really want, right? We want something that can help improve the uh, brain status, and that's what stem cell therapy does. Now, don't just take my word for it, I wrote this consumer guide, which in there I summarize all of the top research studies from around the world for the last 15 years. All right? And they all show very similar findings. There were two studies in the United States to speak of out of Duke University. They looked at the first one, autologous cord blood, where they took the child's own cord blood, and those outcomes were amazing. Then for phase two, they did it with allogeneic cord blood, meaning from a donor. All right? That's what we use is a donor umbilical cord tissue and blood. Um, it does not get rejected. The results have been fantastic, just like they were in that Duke University both studies. What do these outcomes look like? Well, the findings in Duke's two studies, there was a beautiful study out of Russia in 2015. There have been multiple studies out of China, and these are all randomized studies. Like, for instance, the one out of Russia, one group got umbilical cord mes mesenchymal stem cells. The other group got saline. All right, and then both groups got basic rehabilitation, you know, in the background as a, a baseline treatment. Now, what they found is that the ones who got the mesenchymal stem cells uh, achieved much higher gross motor function improvements, such as sitting or standing balance, uh, possibly better ability to walk. They also showed more improvements in cognition. Uh, it might be better eye contact, ability to follow commands, you know, things like that. And they also showed more improvements in fine motor function, handwriting, maybe buttoning shirts, things like that. They also showed uh, decreases in salivation. For kids who have uh, salivation issues, they showed decreases in, in that as well. And then the multiple studies out of China showed the same thing. We see these improvements as well. There were a few other findings that came out that are important to understand. One, the number of cells, the number of stem cells that a child receives for CP to get the improvements that we want to see needs to be very high, right? Those numbers were shown in those studies and we abide by those because the last thing we want to do is put a child through, you know, a significant procedure, a stem cell therapy. Although it's minimally invasive, it's very safe, um, we want to make sure that we get the outcomes that the child and you, the family, deserve, right? The other main finding that they found is that typically it's not just one session that does the trick, all right? Usually it's several. In the Duke University study, they showed three and above sessions worked significantly better than just one or two, all right? So we abide by that as well. Another finding that's important to understand is that these are not overnight uh, results. And what that means is, um, for instance, for arthritis, we see improvements within two to four weeks, maybe six weeks. Not with CP. It's usually three, four, up to six months in these studies was when they started to see vast improvements. It just takes a while to achieve myelination of nerves, new neural networking connections, all right? It takes a while for these things to occur. So that's one of the issues to keep in mind is that don't expect, you know, overnight um, phenomenal outcomes. 
Um, I wrote, uh, as I mentioned, this consumer guide, um, which talks about stem cell therapy for cerebral palsy. Please download it on the website, r3stemcell.com slash Philippines. If you scroll down the home page, it's a free download there. There's also 30 some other consumer guides that I've written for everything from arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, stroke, heart disease, you name it. It's all you know right there. Feel free to download any, all of them, if you want. All right. Our phone number to set up your free consultation is on the website. It's on the screen here as well. Okay. Um, and we'd be happy to discuss with you what you're dealing with. If your child has CP, we'll be happy to talk about how we can help him or, or her. All right. Um, and visit us online uh, on our YouTube channel. There's over 800 educational videos and 150 of those are patient success stories. Not just 10 or 20, but 150. And we have more that get added uh, at this point every week. We are the largest regenerative therapy provider in the world. Over 25,000 procedures to date in seven countries and growing. We are the go-to center now in the Philippines. We'd love to help you. Thank you for watching.